All right, welcome back to GMK. So barbecue, no kidding, might be the favorite food of summer, but this weekend, macaroni is the star of the show because today, my friends, it is National Macaroni Day. It's observed every year on July 7th, and it's not just about macaroni and cheese, although why not? <laughs> um, you know, all macaroni is celebrated. We're talking about macaroni salads, casserole, plain old macaroni with what, salt, melted butter, be delicious. Um, so save a spot on your table today to go and explore everything macaroni. And in fact, here on GMK, Tony and myself, we're going to be whipping up this great dish. It's actually a creamy pesto pasta with macaroni. Super simple. We made it last night, Tony, at our house, and it was definitely a favorite. We had it with our barbecue, so we got the best of both yeah, worlds, say, really. Not too bad. So I went ahead and I'll walk you through everything that you need to have here. I have some butter melted here in the pan and I'm gonna have you get me two cups of the cream and then just toss it in here. You gotta have some good old cream to add to your pasta dish, giving it a nice rich flavor. This is kind of like a cross between like an Alfredo and a pesto, which can be great. Marrying the worlds together. And we're not gonna go light on the cream, I'm sorry. If you want a healthier version, I'm sure you can Google it. So <laughs> it's not gonna not it's to not gonna food. be here, that's for sure. As that gets warmed up, I'm gonna actually go ahead and add about a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese. And this is freshly grated Parmesan because we didn't want to hold back at all. And what I love, you can get these graters from I mean online. You can actually even go and buy it at places like Olive Garden. And just like at the restaurant, mm -hmm. add your parm in there, push it down, and then grate it and it just adds the deliciousness. And the nice part about it, it actually melts a whole lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up and we'll let that melt. Now, Tony and I were talking behind the scenes. Tony, you say, we were talking about like sort of pasta memories. Right. You say back in the day, your school served like a mac and cheese that yeah, was kind of special? I was, when I was in kindergarten and first grade, I went to a little private elementary school in Circleville, Ohio called Children's Academy. Yeah. And one of the favorite dishes there was a white macaroni and cheese with diced ham. Really? And it was delicious. And I remember that was always the standout. We liked it better than pizza when, really? we, when we went to the school. Oh my it, was, gosh. It, was, it, was, it was like the favorite lunch day. That's pretty hardcore. Um, and I haven't had it better since, than pizza. But, it, but it stays in my head. We're going to make it here on the morning show, yeah. that's for sure. But I'm going to go ahead and let this kind of get all melty a little bit because you want it to incorporate. But the nice part about freshly grating Parmesan, you can buy the stuff at the store already done for you in like the bags, the two cup bags, which is great. But it's a little harder because it has, you know, a chance to harden in the right. package. I wouldn't go for the shaking one that you buy in the little tube because no. that's not really legit Parmesan. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's definitely good in a pinch. And we've made pastas at our house with it, which are excellent. Um, but as we let this, we can see it's starting to bubble up, which is great. I have the heat on kind of a medium high high setting just to get this all warmed up. Um, but like, oh, that cheese is starting to incorporate there. That's awesome. I'm so looking forward to this. <laughs> we serve this and my little boy was eating it and I'm always proud if I can get him to eat stuff with this recipe. And it's so funny because I post recipes all the time online and people ask on my Facebook or even, you know, messaging us here at the station, you know, how do you concoct a recipe? Well, I kind of just throw things. I don't know about you when you cook at home, but I kind of just throw things together and I put this all on a piece <laughs> of scrap paper that my kid wrote. But I actually, I actually did write down the recipe because I typically just don't have a recipe, but I'm like, we'll start doing this more. Okay, so the cheese is starting to melt. I'm actually gonna have you go ahead and then we're gonna put a whole cup of, that is whole milk that we're adding into here. It's making it slightly lighter, which is good. But as you do that, and pour that in there, perfect. Excellent sous chef. I'll go ahead and add just a little bit of the seasoning. I like to do this before, probably most restaurants say to do it after, but I like to do the pepper and the salt before. And the reason why is because I can see how much pepper I have when I'm adding, because I'm gonna add pesto to this in a minute. And it's kind of hard to see because pesto has already its spices and everything in there. Pesto, of course, being, being basil, oil, pine nuts mixed together. I do not make that from scratch, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and we'll add our pesto, which you add about, in this case, I'm doing a larger batch just to feed our staff here in case anybody wants some, but it's about a half cup for here. But um, I have a smaller version, a recipe. It's actually already up on my Facebook page. So if you want to check it out, you're more than welcome to. Um, but we'll put this up on cake.com and we'll have it listed under our video section today in case you want to go and look at it. But I want to get all this yummy pesto in here. And so it's kind of this Alfredo-y pesto we got going on. 
Um, I went ahead and already cooked up our pasta. You want to cook it, what, al dente is what they say? Al dente kinda, style. Kind of go like, you want to, I mean, not like undercook it, but you don't want to overcook it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and let it cook in here and thicken up, and it'll take it just a minute or so. Um, but then all that pasta, by cooking it under just slightly, this extra cream sauce will start cooking into the pasta, which will make it super delicious. But it's a great, a really simple dish. You can see certainly the finished product, of course, like I said, on my Facebook page, if you want to see everything with the recipe, but so good, so simple to make. And I think it'll be a start. You're, you know, honestly, when we were eating it last night, it was great hot, but it was actually kind of good cold too, which I think is and nice. And that's gonna so, be the nice thing, yeah. leftovers. Yeah, so take it to your potluck, share it with your family, and hopefully y'all will have a good one. But hey, National Macaroni Day, I don't care how you slice it, how you deal it, just go and do it. It's a good one. Hopefully everyone can oh, go yeah. and enjoy it today. Yeah. All right, when we come back from the break, we'll take a final look at our weather and we'll also share some of our Capture Cake Land segment photos, photos from y'all from this past week. We have some great ones to share, especially with the 4th of July holiday. Can't wait to see them in just a couple of minutes. Sound good?